Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video I'm going to be trying on reviewing the brand new Desi sunglasses I bought. So if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. Okay, so just got these in the mail, my brand new Desi sunglasses. I'm just going to kind of quickly tell you my ordering story about these. I've definitely already ranted about this on my IG stories and in like a vlog I did a week or so ago, but just quickly, if you didn't hear that, I bought these on the day of release. I was on the website literally the moment they dropped. I filled my car. I was put in a line to wait to check out and all of the sunglasses I had in my cart sold out completely. So I had to like go back through, re-add again, same thing happened. Third time I ended up getting two pairs of glasses in two color waves. They weren't my first choice, but I still got them. I still was really excited about it. I mean, I had to snatch some up. So these are the two pairs that I ordered. That is literally like the world's quickest synopsis on what happened. Also, I didn't pay for two-day shipping. I got regular shipping, and I say it took about like a week and a half, two weeks for it to get to me, which is kind of long, but I do understand everything that's going on right now with like the post office and COVID, like all of that makes shipping take a lot longer, so I'm not too upset about that. So let's just get right into it. Firstly, the box. So cute, so simple. I love that. Now let's open it up. I have opened these up and looked at them. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't wait. I did it already. Okay. I had to. So let's go ahead and open this up. I just love the packaging so much. So you first open it here and directly on the inside of the box, you have the logo Desi. My lights is kind of shining that out. And then you have a few different really cool, almost like inverted pictures of her and then we have the box here. So the first thing in the box is this just little card with her on it. She looks gorgeous. It just says Desi and then on the back here is just a little message. It says Desi is born. I can't wait to see you bring the brand to life. Every design sketch, every prototype, every late night was done with two things in mind, creativity and confidence. I knew that if I focused on the creation you would bring the confidence. Your support means the world to me. Thank you. So if you don't know who this is right here, Desi, Desi Perkins, she is a YouTuber. She does beauty, makeup, lifestyle, style, like so much. And she actually has done sunglasses in the past. She has done collaborations with Key Sunglasses and put out five or six different styles. I actually own most of the ones that she put out with Key. I really like, she has like just a good eye for sunglass design. So when this brand came out, I was just like, I, I have to get the sunnies. I know she's going to make great sunnies. And I was not surprised when I saw all of the images leak online because they all looked amazing. So this is just the first little card in here. And then this is the box that these sunglasses come in. So it has Right here, it says Desi on it, kind of pushed into the, how would I describe this? It's like faux leather feeling. It's like a hard box here. It's not just kind of like taupey nude color. And then you open it up and the sunglasses are in a little bag. This is a really nice hard case for sunglasses. I think that if you were like traveling or something, this is something that you would love to put your sunnies in and put them in your suitcase. And honestly, I think that you could probably fit at least two pairs in here. Um, for just like day to day carry, I think the case is like a little bit too big. I normally honestly don't rock my sunglasses in a case. Like if I'm just going somewhere for the day, I'll be wearing them and I'll throw them in my purse or whatever. But for traveling or for just like honestly display, if you just like to keep yours in a little bit nicer of a container, this is a really nice box. And then they have the little, and then it comes here and just a little fabric bag with a tie. So let me open up this first pair here. Ooh, are you excited? Cause I'm excited. Even though I've already seen these, I'm still excited. So the first pair we have here, so cute. These are in the style charge it. And I got mine in the classic turtle shell with the gradient fade lens. One thing about these glasses that I really like is so on the inside right here on the arm, my camera is having like the hardest time focusing on it. But on the inside right here, you kind of see that little 
scribble so that says charge it which is the name of the style so let's just put them on so these guys right here are in the style charge it like i said in the classic tortoise shell with the fade lens i honestly these weren't my first pick uh when i first saw them i was like i don't know if those will really look that great on my face shape but I think they're super cute. They're very high quality. You could really feel how qu high quality they are. Also, one thing about these glasses is I feel like they kind of sit further away from the eye. Some sunglasses, I feel like, are really close to my eye to where I can feel like even just my eyelashes kind of tickling on it. With these, I don't feel that at all. I like that I can kind of see my eyes through it, but not really. They're super comfortable. They feel really nice and heavy duty. They definitely feel the price that they are. I will say the sunglasses were a little bit more spendy than a normal pair of sunglasses, but I don't mind spending a little bit more on sunglasses. Key, for example, is a brand that I have many pairs of sunglasses from, and they tend to range around like $50 to $60 a pair, which is expensive, but it is that nice kind of middle of the lane. I do have one pair of Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses that Spencer got me for my birthday a few years ago, and those were like $400. That's like super high end for sunglasses. And then you have, you know, like Target $10 cute pairs of sunnies that I still definitely own as well. But these are just like a nice middle of the lane price. So let me look up the price for these guys. So this style right here is $85, which I still think is a good middle of the line price for sunglasses, but definitely is more of an investment for most people, I would say. So these shades right here give me really like heavy fall vibes. I don't know what it is about it, partially like the tortoise shell, but I think really the shape of it give me just like fall business vibes. Like I want to have a blazer on, I want to have like a silky shirt or like a turtleneck like I want to go out to the city and make like money moves that's what these shades just give me I love the little like gold stripe inlay right here the shape is so interesting because it is kind of round but then it's also squared off at the end so it is just kind of more of like an interesting feel and interesting design to them like I said they're super comfortable my hair today is not doing me any favors so I have this problem you can probably tell just by looking at me my ears are like off so whenever I wear sunglasses literally every pair of sunglasses ever they look like they're on my face crooked but I swear they're not like this side of my face is just lower than this side of my face because my I always have like one eyebrow that's really poking out and one isn't these feel really comfortable I even feel like if you were to wear them down low like this Super cute, super business. I don't know why these shades just give me like business feels. I will say getting these glasses in person, I actually like them a lot more. I obviously liked them when I bought them, but I was out of all of the styles. I kind of felt like maybe these ones weren't going to look the best on my face or I don't know. I just wasn't feeling them as much, but once I put them on, it just kind of transformed me into another person. Like I said, they feel really high quality. They are heavier, so I haven't really worn them for multiple hours at a time. Sometimes a heavier sunglass can really put like weight on your nose and that can cause you to have like headaches or just like, you know, irritation. I definitely get headaches from sunglasses like pinching at my nose too hard or just like the weight of them on my face. I haven't really tested that out yet, but I will say they feel great. They feel worth the $85 for sure. Super cute. Okay, let's move on to the next pair here. So then the next pair I got also came in this little case here. Let's just open it right on up. So the next pair that I got here is called Top Shelf. So this is the Aviator design. This is actually one of the pairs that I tried to buy in multiple different color waves and kept selling out in my cart. So I ended up getting them in this color wave, which wasn't my first choice only because, so this is the gold frame with the gold gradient lens, only because I have blonde hair and my hair tends to pull more warm, more golden. I don't like wearing too much gold. Like I don't like wearing like gold hair clips very often and stuff like that because I feel like it kind of all blends together so I originally wanted these in the all black I ended up getting them in the all gold I still think they are super cute 
I love a good aviator. I love a good oversized aviator as well. These are super comfortable. They are heavy as well like the other pair. They do feel really well made. I like this little rectangle detail on the side here. I love the fade on the lens. Super comfortable. The inside here where there is the little uh, nose piece, those are flexible and on it it says Desi as well. And on the very end of the little glass right here you can see that it says top shelf. So all the names of all the glasses are engraved on the glasses somewhere. Super cute. These really give me just like Miami Vice vibes, but like minus the police part, you know? I love a good aviator shade. I think these are so chic, so stylish. An aviator is really a shade I feel like you can dress up or dress down. Like anyone can wear it and you can wear it with anything. These are super cute and I don't think the all gold really is going to hold me back from wearing them that often because even with my hair right now, I think the gradient lens kind of helps it not look as washed out. So this pair of glasses was $75. So it is a little bit cheaper than the previous pair I tried on, but they still are, you know, a little bit more expensive. I feel like these are really nice, really comfortable. Like I said, I haven't really worn them for an extended period of time, so I don't know if they're really going to like pinch the nose too hard or throw too much weight on the face. I also like how these ones I feel like aren't super close to my eye, so I don't feel like my eyelashes or anything tickling the frame. Really cute, really well made. I like that they're really large. Spencer sometimes likes to steal some of my sunglasses, especially pairs that are more like this. And I think these definitely would work for a man as well because they are larger. Men tend to have, you know, wider faces. And I don't know, they're just so cute, so comfortable. These ones really are just giving me all of the aviator vibes. Like, even though they weren't my first choice in the color, I still love them. Yeah, I love me a good aviator. These are so cute, so comfortable. You can't really wear these ones low. That's like not really what they're meant for. They're definitely meant to wear all the way high up like this. <sighs> My freaking crooked ears. They really like mess with sunglasses for me. God, so cute. I just love these so much. I love a good aviator. I cannot wait for the restock because I'm definitely going to buy these in another shade. And I have to get the style 2000s like I have to get them I wanted those ones so bad and they sold out so fast <sighs> but alas really really cute I love a good aviator I just do and the ends of here if I didn't mention that before it has like a nice turtle shell end to it which I think really goes with the all gold comes with a little bag as well and then its own little case but that is it for my little mini random Desi sunglasses review. Like I said, I did have some issues with the purchasing in the very beginning. I didn't get the exact styles I wanted, but I think both of these are super cute. They feel really great. I think they're definitely worth the price because it comes with a really nice case, the nice little bag. They feel really high quality. I have zero idea when the restock is going to happen. I... I'm going to be looking for it because I'm going to get those other pairs of shades. Like, it's going to happen. I'm going to have them in my hands by the end of this year. Like, I need them in my life. No question about it. So, I will leave all of Desi's information down below. I will leave the Desi website. I will leave Desi Perkins' Instagram and stuff like that down below so you can check her out and check out the site if you would like. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the shades that I got. Um, let me know if you were able to purchase any of the Desi sunglasses, your thoughts on that. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post here every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!